Let me show you guys how I made my seafood parrillada. Here, I got about two pounds of big papa shrimpies. I'm gonna clean and depoop them, and whatever you see on my nail is shrimp poop. You will also need a bag of seafood mix. So basically, you can use whatever seafood you want. A can of some expensive imitation abalone, about two onions cut up into moon shapes, and half a head of garlic. Take everything to your flat top and caramelize your onions and garlic with a little bit of oil and butter. On the other side, I'm going to cook my shrimpies with a little bit of butter and season it with Chef Merito. I'm also gonna add my bag of seafood mix and my can of abulon. I'm basically cooking it separately because my onions take a little bit longer than my seafood and I don't want my seafood to overcook. I season it with a little bit of chicken bouillon and half a can of chipotle and adobo. But if you want it more spicy, you can always add the whole can. Once your onions are caramelized and your seafood is fully cooked, then you can mix everything together. And I'm gonna be honest with you guys, this is a clip from the last time I made my parrillada because yesterday was too freaking hot for me to be out there recording. That time I added some crab legs into my parrillada, but like I said, you can add whatever seafood you want. But this time I did some spicy crisp beef tilapia fillets i believe that's how you say it i believe the tea is silent i just garnished with the kinds of veggies around it you know to make it look cute and of course you guys already saw my recipe for my agua chiles but here it is again and fun fact you guys can poison me with seafood like offer me seafood and now i'm gonna eat it this is how I served my plate. I just made a white buttery rice with cilantro and some beans. I just sat here and enjoyed my seafood with a bomb ass michelada with my mom, my husband, and my kids. And that's it, guys. This is how I made my seafood parrillada. And again, guys, I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you so much for 1 million followers. I hope you guys like this recipe. Bye. Packing lunch for my husband. Tomorrow my husband's gonna take a big ass papa burrito with papas and chorizo. I think I overdid it with the beans and I'm sure he's gonna talk shit about it tomorrow because he hates beans and I still put them anyways. Then I added the papas and chorizo with some cotija cheese and a little bit of Monterey Jack cheese. Some avocados and some jalapenos and then I roll it up, make sure I don't bust in my face. Wrap it up in some parchment paper and then I put it in his little bento. For his fruit, I'm gonna cut up some watermelon and put it in a cute new container that I got at Winco. I'm also gonna add some watermelon rim dip for dipping i'm sure he's very familiar in that subject and i'm also making him an elvis sandwich you know peanut butter jelly and a banana i make these type of sandwiches for him a lot and a lot of people always tell me that i need to add honey and i'm like no honey it would be too sweet i also got this container at winco for those who care his note to let him know how much i love him then i pack everything in a slunch pot with a couple more snackies i'm adding a bag of chippies a soda and a couple of granola bars his fork and a spoon and the note here's bento and franklin snacking on some kale and I know I'm gonna get a lot of Kevin and Karen's talking shit about my tortoises. Take that shit on Facebook. And that's it. His tea and a granola bar for the morning. Bye. Let's pack today's lunchbox for my cousin and her coworkers. Today I made them green chicken enchiladas. I begin by making the green enchilada sauce. And don't worry, I'm gonna leave all the ingredients on the comment section. I blend it up in my brand new blender. And I also fry up all the tortillas. Once all my tortillas are fried, I begin stuffing them with chicken. I put four of them on the foam container and then I begin to ladle all that green sauce all over the enchiladas. I also add some Monterey Jack cheese and let that melt before adding some lettuce, some cebollas curtidas with lemon and salt, a couple of tomatoes, and lots of Mexican crema. Along with the enchiladas, they get a side of Mexican rice and a side of refried beans. And of course, their fork. And yes, guys, I am aware I have two different gloves. I also made a special lunch for my son's girlfriend and her little sister they're going through a rough patch right now but i want her to know that we miss her and we love her and my son wanted to write a little note for her so he did please excuse his handwriting and of course i had to add my two cents because i also miss her i also made her and her sister a side of cut up watermelon with lots of watermelon rim dip because it's hot af and fresh fruit always makes everything better along with today's order they also had the option between a soda or a cherry lemonade water is that even a thing a cherry lime agua fresca there you go and my cousin and her coworkers chose both. And that's it guys, now I'm just gonna get all her orders ready, including all of her drinks, and she comes and picks up during lunchtime. Like, she's literally outside. Bye! Let me show you guys how to make a cherry limeade water. We need about two cups of cherries that we're going to wash and remove the stems. I have this little gadget that removes the pits from my cherries because I refuse 
to stick the cherries hole in my blender because it will mess up my blades. Anyways, here are the pits and here are my cherries. Now I'm gonna reserve about a handful to cut up into small little pieces as garnish. Now for the limeade, I'm going to use the juice of four lemons and just make sure you put all the juice in that cup. Don't be like me and spill half of it. And I'm also gonna thinly slice half a lime for garnish. I stick the cherries in my blender along with the lime juice. Sweeten up with sweetener of choice. I'm gonna use about a cup of sugar and then I fill it up with water. By it, I mean the blender. Now I'm just gonna blend until smooth. And yes guys, this is the brand new blender. I'm I'm going to pour everything into a two and a half quart pitcher and then fill up the rest with water. I then add the little pieces of cherry and the lime. I don't recommend you adding those limes if you're planning on leaving this pitcher in the fridge for a couple of days. Mix everything together and this is the perfect chance for you to check for sweetness. If it needs more sugar, add more sugar. If it's too sweet, just add more water. Fill up your big pop-up cup with ice and then pour yourself a delicious and refreshing cup of cherry lemonade, lemonade. I don't know why I'm having such a hard time pronouncing that. And there you have it, guys. You just made a cherry and lime agua fresca since I can't pronounce the other word. I also wanted to show you guys something so sweet. I know I keep talking about this, guys, but look at what my sisters got me. They got me a little star of fame with my name on it, some cupcakes like I need them. I also did finish them. <laughs> but hope you like this recipe. Bye. Let's pack today's lunchbox for my cousin and her coworkers. Today I made them spicy, crispy chicken sandwiches. I coat the chicken in a very spicy mix that I'm gonna leave down in the comments and then I fry it up. I butter up my buns to make sure they're nice and crispy. I didn't put any sauce on the buns, I'm gonna put it aside, that way it doesn't get soggy. I also put pickles, tomatoes, lettuce, and a big ass piece of crispy chicken. I top it off with my top bun and then I wrap it up in some parchment paper. I just put it in their phone box and along with the chicken sandwich, they get a side of crispy fries that I season with some Chef Perito. A side of ketchup and the chicken sandwich sauce. They also had the option between a soda or a pineapple cucumber agua fresca and they chose both. Today I had so many of these orders I literally sold out at 11 30. Even with the agua frescas that at the end I had to make a watermelon one. And that's it guys now I'm just gonna get everything ready for her and she comes and picks up during lunchtime. Bye! Let me show you guys how I made my pineapple cucumber agua fresca. Here I have half a pineapple that I'm gonna cut up into small cubes and a whole cucumber. And yes guys, I wash my cucumber with soap because I'm gonna use the peels and I don't like that waxy stuff all over the cucumbers. It leaves a nasty film on my water. I'm also gonna use half a cucumber that I'm going to thinly slice and use as garnish. Then I throw everything in my blender, the pineapple and the cucumber and the cucumber peels. Sweeten up with sweetener of choice. I'm gonna use about a cup of sugar. I probably use a little bit more but i'm just gonna say about a cup of sugar then i fill up the rest of my blender with water and blend until smooth i pour everything into my two and a half quart pitcher fill up the rest of my pitcher with water add my cucumbers for garnish and mix this is the perfect chance for you to check for sweetness if it needs more sugar add more sugar if it's too sweet just add more water i honestly think i need to start making more than two and a half quarts of agua fresca because this runs out in like 2.5 seconds now i'm just gonna fill up my favorite cup with ice and yes this is my favorite cup because i can also put hot stuff in it and fill up my cup with a delicious and refreshing agua de piña con pepino i also garnished it with a little cucumber because you know what gotta be extra and that's it guys this is how i made my pineapple cucumber agua fresca hope you like this recipe bye